Say we come across a glaze recipe that we don't have some of the ingredients for. For example, this Rhodes Rutile. I don't have Kona F4, and I don't have Fusion Frit 75. If we scroll down to the chemical analysis, we can see what each material contributes to the glaze. For the Kona F4, it contributes silica, alumina, sodium, potassium, a little bit of magnesium, calcium, iron. It has more sodium than potassium, so we can kind of assume that it's a soda feldspar. And this Fusion Frit 75 has a little bit of boron, but not much. Silica and a little bit of sodium. All right, so we want to replace those two ingredients. Let's go into the calculator by clicking calculator. And then we're going to make a copy of this. And we'll just name it my materials. For the Kona F4 feldspar, I'll replace it with the soda feldspar that I have, Minspar. And for the fusion for it, I don't even think we need it. Let's just cross it out here by clicking the X. All right, so how has that substitution changed our chemical makeup? Well, we have a little bit less R2O, um, so we can increase that by increasing the feldspar. So I'm gonna click the plus sign until we get to 0 0.27 to 0.73. And now we see that our fluxes are all the same. But as I did that, as you can see here in the graph, the alumina went up and the silica also went up. So I need to remove some of the alumina and some of the silica. Well, the kaolin that we have contributes to the alumina. Let's just say one. All right, so we're at 0.35 alumina, 0.35 alumina but we still have too much silica, 3.84. So I'm going to remove some of the silica until it gets to 3.6. So it's gonna be like 26.3, okay. So we have 3.63 silica in both of them. The silica alumina ratio is pretty much the same. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we can make it exactly the same, 10.39, 10.39 and our flux ratio is the same. So we've successfully used ingredients that I have and made a copy of the original Rhodes Rutile. And in theory, it should work the same. That's it.